Hey man, I'm sorry for taking so long with the videos, but I've just been ill for a week now and I lost my voice and shit one of the days. And that lasted for three days or something, but my voice is getting back now. And in case you don't really believe that I've actually been ill, then here's a proof. Yeah, I'm sick as fuck. I'm, I'm back. And I'm talking with Jamie at the moment. Hold on, hold on. Could you maybe say hello? Because I'm trying to record something at the moment. Hello. <laughs> yeah. So, even though I'm fucking ill right now, don't tell me I'm not doing shit. <laughs> 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 I hope that's good enough for you, man. But yeah, let's move on to today's topic. So, after school Satan, huh? I just recently heard about this in a podcast on Racing Hell, which is a satanic podcast produced by members of the COS, aka the Church of Satan. And a few days later, I realized that folks around the internet is combining this to the Illuminati, saying that it's devil worshippers, which for the first is untrue. But like, I understand you guys, and damn, their promo video even got me skeptical for a few seconds. So I don't really blame you at all. I will say though that this kind of scary dark shit, it's just a part of the satanic charm, you know. So yeah, if you aren't on your way to sleep anytime soon, then you should definitely watch this real quick. I'll leave a link right here on the screen and in the description. So, uh, how should I start up this video? Well, for about three years ago now, I believe, I described myself as being a Satanist, more specific, a Levian Satanist. And please keep in mind that there is a lot of different types of Satanists, so do not claim them all to be the same, because no matter what it is, that's wrong to do, man. For a lot of Satanists, Satan is just a symbol of man's true nature, and that means they don't believe in an actual Satan. Anyways, what is Levian Satanism? Well, it is also known as Atheistic Satanism or Modern Satanism. The name came by the founder of the COS, Anton Sander LaVey, who as the first described what Satanism was and is. He did this back in 1966, where he also founded the COS and wrote the Satanic Bible that I of course own. Not just a copy of the original, but also a translated one, since it is more likely that I would read something in Danish because that's my mother language, you know. As I said, there's different types of Satanism. So yeah, we, or they, are not all on the bright side of the line. <laughs> if you could even say that about a Satan lover. <laughs> so yeah, unfortunately, we also have those who actually do believe in and worship the devil. But where does the Satanic Temple belong on this list? What do they believe in? Well, they for sure ain't Levian Satanist. In fact, they do not fully agree with the views of the Church of Satan, and so they started up their own satanic organization only a few years back, in 2013. As far as I know, man, I could be wrong. Once again, it is still atheistic Satanism though, so there is no worshipping of any devil. Modern Satanists do not worship any deity, but worship themselves, and tries to be the best version of themselves. So. Now we have that clear, hopefully. <laughs> now, do the COS condone the actions of the TST, or should I say the Satanic Temple? Definitely not. They also spoke out about this back when the Satanic Temple demanded a statue of the Baphomet in Detroit, as you probably already heard about. If not, then search it up. There is a lot of different videos on YouTube about this. But yeah, Satanists don't push their religion upon others, and do not feel the need for approval in society. They know that's not the way to go. To know who and what you are is the only thing that matters. You know what I'm saying? Nothing should depend on the people around you, but whatever. I'm not here to call out or say who and who isn't a real Satanist, so let's just continue. Oh, and yeah, if you still don't believe me when I say that none of these organizations worship the devil, then go check out their website and visit the FAQ link. So, if we take a look at this, the first question is actually, do you worship Satan? I'll have one of my homies reading this up for you, since my English is way too bad and I have some troubles pronouncing some of the words. And just to point it out, my friend here ain't no Satanist, he's just helping me out, cause he's a good friend, you know? So, you go Jason. Do you worship Satan? 
It is the position of the satanic temple that religion can and should be divorced from superstition. As such, we do not promote a belief in a personal Satan. To embrace the name Satan is to embrace rational inquiry removed from supernaturalism and archaic tradition-based superstitions. The Satanists should actively work to hone critical thinking and exercise reasonable agnosticisms in all things. Our beliefs must be malleable to the best current scientific understanding of the material world, never the reverse. So, they do not fucking believe or worship Satan. Okay, now because I myself is a Satanist as well, and I can say this for all Satanists, when we say, Hail Satan, it's like saying, hail myself, hail our accomplishment, hail our progress, you know? Like, when we do something good, it's hail Satan. By the way, thank you, Jason, for reading it out. But yeah, let's move on. I got this uh, little cut it out audio I want to play for you guys. It's from the David Peckman show. So shout out to that guy atheistic religions in that we don't view um, Satan as an actual uh, conscious deity. It's, he's a metaphorical construct for us, the eternal rebel against the ultimate tyrant for us. I would have liked to play some more for you guys, but I'm too scared of getting a copyright strike. But there will still be links in the description to all the things I think you should watch, so remember to go down there when the video is over. The co-founder of the Satanic Temple has told us that they got no interest in converting our children, not even educate them about the Satanic philosophy. He says that the after-school Satan program is more about science, logic, reason, and that it avoids topics of eternal damnation, superstition, and supernatural things. So they won't even get into that kind of topics, as far as we told. Remember that the only ones to force the children into these clubs are the parents, so it's all in their hands, you know. I personally believe that this would be a good solution if you have an atheistic upgrowing, unless you can teach your child on your own. The After School Satan program will be teaching your children to be individuals, to become individuals, and not think like everybody else. Elf? Everybody elf? Everybody go elf now! Mm -mm -mm. I mean everybody else. <laughs> but of course, think about it before you just send your kids to these clubs. If you actually do have a lot of Christians around your child in your area, then remember that there's a chance that because of the stupidity of having Satan in the name of the club, like, why would you even have that? It's not unnecessary since it's not even going to be about Satanism. But yeah, the fact that Satan is in the name will increase the kids' chance of getting bullied in school. They will be bullied as devil worshippers or Satanists. Anyways, <laughs> that's it for today, guys. And I hope you enjoyed the video and leave a like and or something, maybe comment, say what you think. But yeah, there's not really more to say. So yeah, nothing else then, of course. See you next time, guys. And yeah, Davis out, man. Have a good one. Huh?